Today, I am gonna kill my friends. Why? I don't know, because I'm bored and it's Minecraft? Plus, I have an awesome idea for a killing machine that's completely controlled by chickens, and the victims will actually pay to use it. Well, let's get to work. So there's one thing you absolutely have to know about this server before we even start. Everyone is cheap. Okay, that's kind of a blanket statement, but for example, people are still chopping down trees instead of just buying them from my wood shop. It's disgusting. It's pathetic and sad. So, how do we break those stingy habits? By breaking their ankles, of course. Just like this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The idea is players will pay a diamond to jump down a hole in the ground, and if they pull off a water bucket clutch and survive, they get a prize. It's kind of like an arcade game, which is totally different than gambling, because that would be terrible. But we want profit and murder, so we also have to make this the most difficult water bucket clutch of their lives. And I've got a few ideas up my sleeve, so let's design the perfect killing machine. One of the more diabolical tricks we can use in the clutch trap is to replace some of the full blocks with slabs or stairs. This way, even if a player is successful in placing the water before they hit the ground, it's essentially absorbed into the block below it, waterlogging the slab and sending the player to an early grave. But there is a huge glaring problem with this design. If a player keeps trying the game over and over, eventually they'll figure out which blocks are safe and which ones are not. And once they know where to land, they can win every time. Luckily, I have seen through the redstone matrix and have designed a machine using the most advanced redstone techniques. Alright, I'm being a little bit sarcastic, but I'm actually kind of proud of this thing. So this is the landing pad where the players will try to do the clutch. Some of these blocks are full blocks, and some are half slabs. But the entire platform is surrounded by pistons, which are triggered every time one of these chickens walks on a pressure plate. And since each row moves independently, it randomizes the floor so much that within just a few seconds, I don't even know where the safe blocks are anymore. But it's not quite complete, because we also need to destroy any existing water sources before the player tries again. But there's actually a pretty simple solution to this problem. Ta-da! I know, I know, it's starting to look a little complicated and I'm just as excited about it. But let me explain. So the entire floor is now resting on sticky pistons. And those pistons are linked to an observer right here that's monitoring the pistons pushing the landing pad back and forth. So when they get triggered, the floor is pushed upward, which destroys the water source and solves all of our problems. So now, even if the player goes for the same block twice in a row, chances are the water block has already been removed, which means another diamond in our pocket and soul in my dining hall. At this point, you're probably thinking, man, Branzi is some kind of redstone genius, and that's very kind, but honestly, I would never consider myself a genius. It's just narcissistic, and besides, the only thing worse than a narcissist are YouTubers who consistently ask for likes in their videos. Uh, now for the unavoidable question of where to build this death trap. I mean, we could build it at Rex Copper House area because he likes games, but he also likes killing me. So maybe we build it in the shopping district instead. Besides, I don't want the customers afraid for their lives until after they pay me. And I think this little hill right here is going to be perfect. So that is one death machine mostly built because I did think of one additional problem while I was digging armor, specifically feather falling boots and protection armor. If someone was to wear max enchanted armor while attempting our drop here, there's a good chance that they would survive and ruin my fun again. So to ensure maximum carnage, we need to raise the height of the launch pad by about 40 blocks. But in the spirit of the Halloween season, ouch, I thought it'd be fun to put a little Halloween twist on this thing and call it Terror of Tower, which is in no way, shape, or form associated to the copyright of Tower of Terror at Disneyland. <laughs> Don't sue me. It's Minecraft, okay? So let me give you the gist of what happens here. This is actually the entrance on how you can get up to the top of the tower. And all the rules are right here. You can pause to read the signs if you like to, but basically if I was a player, once I got up to here, I could set my spawn. I could put all of my stuff into this chest here, pay my diamond, and of course grab a bucket, fill it with water from the source block right there, and then 
take my jump down the chute. But I don't need that right now, so oops. I forever, please don't break everything. Dear soul, I will miss you forever. That's a lot deeper than I thought. There it goes. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, yeah. this is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I know the odds of living through this thing are extremely low because right now I've put it into expert mode. And what that means is there's actually right now only one block of safety out of all of these, right? So it's pretty low. But if people struggle, then I'll add more blocks later. If they do survive somehow, then uh, they will walk right up the staircase just like this. And I've got a chest right here that says, congratulations, please take one block and enjoy. And I get a whole diamond block just for surviving. And it says terror of tower survival. It's like a little trophy that you can have at the end of the season. So as long as those murder hens do their job, this killing machine should work perfectly. But there's only one way to find out. Uh, hello? Yeah, technically the chickens aren't actually killing your friends, so this is just click- Well, secondhand murder is still murder, okay? I, I just have to get to the bottom and do a water bucket clutch, correct? Typical rules of the clutch. No, I think I can do that. Okay. It is a diamond, that's the important part. Here you go. Right over there. It's actually a payment chest, but I'll, I'll guess that's fine. Here we go. That's it. Nope, nope, nope. See, you can't place blocks. It's in the rules. You can't place blocks. Oh, there was a technicality in the TNCs. Anyways. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! I mean, you're welcome to try again. It's just one more diamond. You know, you're trying to get that diamond block. Oh no! That's a steering! Have a bucket! <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah. Um, can, can I watch you do it? I'll give it a shot. I'm not afraid to try it. Uh, that'll be one diamond, actually. I don't make the rules. It says right here. I hate when you're right. Yikes. That's, that was, yikes. All right, so we just have to fall down there and survive with a water bucket clutch, and basically there will be things that will, I don't really know, I'm just gonna fall. Ooh. Oh. Here, have another diamond. It's not like you're already super rich or anything. Ah! Nope. And we just go. Oh, <laughs> Boop. I placed down the water, but it didn't work. I suppose I'll do it a few more times. See, empty bucket. I totally placed it. All right, let's do it just one more time, I guess. It is hard to stop when you have a challenge that feels beatable because it feels so. So close in your grasp. You can't get it unless you're lucky. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh, it's like luck based. What the? Oh, no. See, I think it took my water bucket. Here, I'll let you go first this time. I hope this isn't another elaborate prank. Okay. <laughs> I just hear this ding. He's got he's got chickens activating the pistons. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Two, one, go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I placed the water and it didn't work. I I feel like I'm placing the water. Oh my god, I almost spent way too many diamonds on this. What the heck is going on? I'm gonna try something. Are you getting like an auto clicker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the auto clicker. <laughs> no. Oh no. Okay, ready? This is this is my form of cheating. <laughs> oh good. <gasps> oh, no. Nope. No. There's like space down there where like you can get on the ledge. I'm gonna try to hug the wall again. Right here. Cause then maybe you're like you're placing it and then not placing it at the same time. Oh, oh I did it! Oh did you do it? yeah, I cheesed the system! Dude, that is so wacky. What the heck? Are these Oh, no. oh yeah! Hey, you did oh and you did it in the middle! 
he's mm -hmm. definitely already made more than nine diamonds. Yeah. Well, I don't much. know. I feel like we both made a profit. You, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you did it eight times in total. I did it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did it seven times in total. So I actually made a, I made a profit of two diamonds and you made a profit of one. Hey, that Franzi. Yeah, take that. Got him. Well, all's fair in murder and friends, so I'll give the win to both of them. Besides, even with two winners, we made 27 diamonds. That's nine diamonds of profit so far. So thank you to all the other Echoes for playing. Links to their channels are in the description. Stop! Get your grubby little mouse away from that back button. I made this end card just for you. Seriously, this is a video that YouTube said that you would enjoy. Hey, don't look at me. YouTube said it. I don't know what you like to get up to when you're not here. Or do I?